Hi Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for June 2019. This is for Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus for the sign of Leo, please. What else does Leo need to hear? Already starting off strong with that once energy, your energy, fire energy. Now those major arcanas are popping up, so movement, definitely focused on a spiritual journey here. Okay. What is the most important message for Leo? Most important message for Leo, please. Okay, nine of cups. So we've got a couple nines here. All right, so the Nine of Cups, this is focused on your happiness, your fulfillment. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Nine of Cups can represent realizing your wishes, what fulfills you. This can also represent things coming to a culmination, okay, with the Nine of Cups. So very nice energy. This is a very positive omen for this reading overall. And, you know, we have this other nine over here, the nine of pentacles. So really focused on self-fulfillment, feeling strong, feeling powerful. I'm definitely sensing this energy here. For some of you, you may feel like you need to defend some decisions that you have made that represent your happiness, especially if it involves things like cutting people out of your life. You're always going to have people that judge whatever decisions that you make. And in the end, really, does that matter? No, it matters what makes you the most happy. So forget about other people's judgment. Do what is best for you if you are facing that kind of a, a situation or choice, especially if it's a huge life change, anything involving some big things like career and work and finances or love. With a seven of wands starting off, now this card can represent feeling like you have some opposition because people may be jealous of what you have. They may be jealous of how happy you are. Um, unfortunately, we do deal with that. We deal with energies of people who sometimes are miserable and unhappy and they also want you to feel that way. So sometimes you could need to focus on this, especially because before this we have the six of wands and that is feeling powerful, overcoming obstacles, being at the top of your game. And some people may see that and not like that. So with the two of wands here, there could have been a choice that you made and you have faced some opposition over it. This could also be about you fighting for your happiness, leaving old ways behind with the two of wands. It is about having, you know, several different options, two different options. But the best thing here, what this card represents is choosing what is going to resonate with your new journey forward and the nine of pentacles independence happiness fulfillment especially financially here physically your structure stability and then we have the queen of swords so these cards are really popping out as a collective for all signs especially with gemini season coming up that gemini new moon let's see yeah, and that's in your 11th house. And the 11th house deals with the wages that you make from your 10th house, your career. It deals with connections. It deals with friendships. So that can come in strongly for some of you. 
Let's see. So with the Queen of Swords, yeah, there can be some news. There can be some communication, thoughts and ideas flowing. And then we have judgment. Judgment, a number two again, 20. So rising from the ashes with the judgment card. And this can also represent a regeneration and renewal for you. Okay, so if you've had difficulty now, it's like you're really feeling this self-fulfillment and happiness and you know that the choices you made were for your best interest. Wheel of Fortune, we have movement here. So if there has been stagnation, the wheel represents movement. We've got two tens right next to each other. Tens deal with sometimes the end of a cycle or the beginning of a new cycle. Okay, it can be either or and it can be both. You can have that coming in you know, pretty fast for you. So with the Ten of Cups, emotional happiness is very important. There could be a start of a new emotional cycle for you where you're getting a lot of growth in abundance, especially with this Nine and Ten energy. And then we have the Hierophant. And that can definitely represent relationships, committed relationships, but this can also represent your connection to a higher spirituality, especially with the Hierophant um this is really representing that strong spiritual connection in your life mastering life lessons i feel like for many of you so let's start clarifying i want to check out what's going on with the seven of wands energy let's clarify the seven of wands for leo please oh my god all right seven of wands again so this is a strong energy now we have two sevens what is going on with the Seven of Wands, please? I love when Spirit gives me double the card, double the energy, double the power. So what's up with the Seven of Wands, please? Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Leo, please? And you're doing what's best for you here. Seven of Wands. Okay, we have the devil card. This is the sign of Capricorn. There could be somebody around you that is trying to throw their shadowy aspects on you, their shadow self, and you're like, I'm not even dealing with that crap. Um, the devil energy can definitely represent that. So it's the shadow side of um, people. It can de deal with definitely people projecting these things on you. Um, and if it's not that, this is you fighting against that shadow aspect of yourself that may be trying to creep up with emotional energy, um, fear, definitely deception, illusion. So now I want to check out this devil card. Now I'm interested, especially with the devil card. Why is the devil here, please? Clarify that devil energy. Clarify the devil energy. Okay, so now we have the four of pentacles. Now, fours represent a foundation. Fours can also represent somebody who is holding on tight to their money. Um, somebody who's trying to build a solid foundation could be struggling a little bit. And if it is emotionally dealing with somebody, this could have been someone who was definitely not really expressing their feelings. So whether this is you, somebody else, cross-watching for Leo, there seems to be this big breakthrough here with the seven of wands. There could have been someone who was trying to avoid opening themselves up. Okay. Definitely could be a huge change in the foundation here in your life too, leading to this nine of pentacles, nine of cups. What is the queen of swords energy for the sign of Leo, please? Queen of Swords for the sign of Leo. Okay, yeah. So we have the Eight of Swords. So this stuck energy, whether this was you in the past or somebody that you were dealing with, there seems to be a big breakthrough here and there's going to be change. There's going to be communication. With the Eight of Swords, this is cutting through whatever was holding you back um, or holding somebody else back around you. That mental energy being mentally stuck. A lot of this, again, is just dealing with the shadow side, the fear, the worry. Um, 
Even sometimes for some it can be guilt. So there is a big breakthrough here with that Queen of Swords. Um, and with judgment, this can definitely be somebody from the past who is making up for something. This can definitely be the renewal of past matters. And if it's not dealing with somebody, this can definitely represent you breaking out of that, breaking free. So let's take a look at what's going on. And especially with the Wheel of Fortune, there is definite movement here. Definitely a flow of energy. Yeah, and we have that Sagittarius full moon as well. And that's going to be in your fifth house, Leo. Um, and depending on where Sagittarius Gemini is in your chart. But as a sun sign, Sagittarius fifth house deals with romantic matters. You had all your eclipses over the last several years in Leo. Um, so now it's on the Cancer and the um, Capricorn axis. So... For some of you, you could be getting in your feels for sure um, with the Cancer energy that is coming up in July and your energy coming up as well, July and August. Um, but there is definite change here. So let's take a look at this Ten of Cups energy. Ten of Cups, what is going on with the Ten of Cups here? So yeah, Fifth House, Romance love sexuality anything dealing with children in your life and interesting i say children the six of cups although it represents past memories it can also represent giving to others it can represent um just like the sixth house dealing with service number six but it can also represent children around you especially with the hierophant here family matters what is going on one more with the ten of cups six of cups so especially whereas this is a past type of card here, past life relationship and judgment. One more, please. Okay, and we have the sign of justice. So things are balancing out here. This shadow type energy, I feel like things are really balancing out. There can be some big choices and decisions. For some of you with the tens representing the endings of cycles, in the Justice card here, I've got to say for some, this can definitely be legal matters pertaining to um, divorces, you know, the dissolution of marriage type thing. Um, big choices and decisions here though as well that can be difficult but are much needed to bring in this happiness, the wish fulfillment and all of that. But there is definitely great change here for you this month. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoy this reading and I hope you have a great June. If you'd like a private reading, that information's in the description box below along with the link to Facebook and Instagram. Take care.